Everyone feels anxious now and then, whether it's a problem at work, before taking a test, or making an important decision. Anxiety disorders, however, interfere with people's ability to lead a normal life and can be disabling. Anxiety disorder affects 40 million adults in the United States, according to the National Institute of Mental Health. Dr. James Myers at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center describes anxiety and anxiety disorders. Anxiety is uh, something that we all experience at one point. Uh, it can be a normal reaction to stress. For example, if you're going on a hike and all of a sudden you came across a bear, maybe she had a cub and she could be more aggressive and, and maybe she turned around and looked at you right in, right in the eyes and then yes, your heart starts beating, then your, maybe your muscles start tightening up a little bit, breathing starts to get a little bit faster and uh, that's uh, kind of normal and expected. Uh, but uh, now imagine you're having these symptoms on an everyday basis, uh, maybe with your regular routine. And uh, this can really uh, inhibit your function and your ability to, to be happy in life. And this is when we start to suspect uh, more of an anxiety disorder. Dr. Myers discusses different types of anxiety. Social anxiety, OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder, um, panic disorders, the, the one that I see most, and I think most doctors uh, see a lot, is what we call a generalized anxiety disorder. And uh, that is kind of more excessive worry with more everyday routine things you do. Um, and the symptoms, uh, you could have uh, restlessness, easily fatigued, uh, you could get the muscle tension, trouble sleeping, more irritable. And when you have these symptoms along with this excessive worry and when it starts inhibiting your functions uh, at, at work, performance, uh, family relationship, friend relationships, this is when we say that, uh, that a patient might have generalized anxiety disorder. Many conditions can cause anxiety symptoms. There can be other uh, diseases, other disorders that can mimic anxiety, thyroid disorders, electrolytes with calcium imbalance, uh, there can be side effects from medications maybe you're already taking that could cause uh, these symptoms, uh, obstructive sleep apnea, heart disorders. So th those need to be uh, kind of addressed first to make sure it's not something else besides anxiety. Um, uh, substance abuse uh, is another uh, possible cause, alcohol. Treatment options range from physical activity to medications. It usually takes uh, a combination of methods uh, to help treat anxiety. Uh, I like to start off with the more uh, natural, non-medicine uh, treatments first that are available. Uh, the first one being physical activity. Physical activity has been shown in, in studies to uh, help with the, the symptoms. And as little as three times a week, about 20 minutes a day, has actually been shown to, to help. Uh, yoga has actually been shown to uh, help uh, manage uh, symptoms. Uh, cell phones, they have good, nice good apps that uh, you can download uh, that can help with that and relaxation techniques. Uh, and uh, if those things aren't helping, there's also uh, talk therapy or uh, with a therapist or with a psychologist or in your psychiatrist um, uh, where they can sit down with you and organize your thoughts and, uh, and participate in what's called cognitive behavioral therapy. If you've tried the uh, non-medicines, uh, the physical activity, uh, those things aren't helping. There are medicines that have been shown to help as well. Uh, the first line treatments are uh, in a category called SSRIs. Um, these are uh, your Prozac, your Zoloft. Um, those are some of the more uh, familiar ones. These also help with depression too, and depression and anxiety often go hand in hand. There still needs to be progress towards treating mental illnesses like other conditions. There's a lot of stigma associated with uh, mental health disorders, anxiety and depression, and so uh, a lot of times uh, it's kind of pushed to the side and, and not really want to be addressed because uh, it is uh, can take more time, uh, which uh, sis health systems don't allow, uh, don't allow for that. And so it is tricky um, when uh, you're trying to manage uh, anxiety. These options have allowed people to manage their anxiety and get back to a fulfilling life. Some of the symptoms that I discussed uh, can lead to physical uh, problems, uh, pain, uh, a lot of emotional distress, and, and, uh, and like we said, your ability to be happy.